Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be trying out so much new drugstore makeup. I actually sat down and I was gonna be doing like a weird products. Like this is the craziest thing in the world, which I still wanna do that video. So make sure you thumbs this one up. If you wanna see that, leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, all of those things. But I'm gonna kinda just go with my mood right now because as I was setting up that video, I really like, oh. I mean, I was just like, oh yeah, the new Wet n Wild powder, and then this, and then this new makeup obsession available at Target, and stuff from Pixi, and L'Oreal nipple bronzer. Quite possibly the dumbest joke I've ever made on my channel if you saw my PR unboxing. It looks like nipples. L'Oreal has some new bronzers. I actually think a lot of this is gonna be really great. We are gonna start out with a little makeup obsession. This is the Picture Perfect Pore Blurring Primer. Now, this is something new that I saw at Target, and I actually saw this when I was with my sisters when they visited. I picked up a bunch of the eyeshadow palettes. I don't like them. Oh my God, they're terrible. Like they won't swatch. It's the craziest thing. They look really beautiful, but they're very, very disappointing. Sorry to start this video on like a bad negative note. Um, I might put them in action in like a fails makeup routine kind of a video. Um, I do those too. God, I just, I do it all here on this channel. But I still want to try this one out because I love a good blurring primer. And you know, there have been some good things said about this newer brand. It is very, very affordable, budget friendly. Hmm. It's a little more oily, but it's not, like it has like that silky slip to it, but it is canceling my pores just a little bit which is what I really like from a primer is for there to be a nice glide that the foundation can go over and for there to be like a little bit of something going into the pore to kind of smooth it out. So we'll see how the foundation goes on top of this. All right, I am going to use a mattifying foundation, you guys. I have always kind of avoided mattifying foundations because I have very combo leaning dry skin. However, I have noticed recently I don't know like what is up, maybe it's the weather, maybe it's just like I'm outside and my body heat is a little bit higher and I'm sweating more and like the makeup is doing different things, but I'm able to totally pull off a mattifying foundation right now, which I really like because those tend to be a little more long wear. Now this one from CoverGirl is the True Blend Matte Made. I have the shade Warm Beige. I wanted to try this one out because I saw a commercial <laughs> It was like, this is transfer resistant. I put on makeup and I'm that person that I will like hug James and I'm that, like I'm the wife now that I'm like, ugh, you know, and I'm like trying to like wipe it down. It happens to me, it happens to most people that wear more than a tinted moisturizer. So I'm always curious when that is one of the claims where it says, this is transfer resistant. I'm like, sign me up for that. That was the big thing to me that made me interested in this product. Cool story, Tati. I'm really grateful that you guys watch my videos because sometimes as I'm sitting here talking, I'm like, dear God, I'm just gonna put on the makeup now. Also, PS, I am so, so back into this sponge. If you have not tried a stands out sponge, they are phenomenal. They're so good. It's like a slice of a memory foam pillow. DIY. <laughs> Don't do that, that'd probably be a disaster. Um, and this is less expensive. But this is like such a great product to blend on foundation. I'm having like a weird flashback, going grocery shopping with my dad. And this was when I was first kind of playing around with wearing foundation every single day. I think I was in like ninth grade. And of course I wore CoverGirl because easy breezy beautiful, CoverGirl, yes. Um, I wanted to be just like Nikki Taylor and I was like, yeah, she's so pretty. I will never forget being so mad and getting so embarrassed in the parking lot of QFC. And my dad had told me and he was trying to be nice about it. That's the worst thing. It's like when you go back in time and you're like, oh my gosh, teenage tantrum. Um, he was like, hey, your face doesn't match your neck. <laughs> And I was just like so offended. I'm like, it does, you're wrong. And I was just like so, so upset about it. And I went home and I read more of my Bobby Brown books and practiced and figured out that 
you actually do have to kind of go down the neck a little bit, even if your foundation matches you perfectly, still do that. It will oxidize, it will change color just a little bit, very subtly, but you wanna make sure you don't have that demarcation line here that can happen so easily. So I always remember, you know, because of that specific memory of trying to figure out makeup at a young age with CoverGirl, like whenever I use a CoverGirl product, I'm always like, oh yeah, blend, blend, blend. It's actually a little more dewy than what I thought, but maybe it dries down a little more matte. I'm actually gonna take this Beach Bay from L'Oreal and mix it in with the leftover foundation here, just to give it like a little bit of a sheen. And I'm gonna go on the neck. Okay, we're gonna go in with a little Mega Conceal. This is also Makeup Obsession, available at Target. Is this concealer for a giant? Who, what is this? Mm. I don't think I like that. It is like patchy. Oh my God, I this feels like a used expanded Q-tip or like, ew, I don't like that applicator at all. It's not terrible, but it's no Shape Tape. It's no Catrice. It's no Maybelline Age Rewind. So that's kind of like a eh, no thank you. Moving right along, I am super curious and excited to try this out. This is the Photo Focus Translucent Loose Powder. When will that's the worst packaging to open though? Seriously. It's like you need a secret code or something to crack into here. Password denied, what the hell? I just painted my nails. All right, so this is kind of like a get ready with me, hang out, whatever, we're just gonna chit chat. What do you think of my dress? I got it on sale a year ago and this is the first time I'm wearing it. Um, this is from Couples. I got it literally probably like a year and a half ago and it's so cute. like really pigmented powder. I kind of live for this. Dang. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sit for a minute. And I am gonna put something on my lips cause they're kind of bugging me a little bit. I have been using this for several months now, but in a different shade. This is like a gloss treatment from Flower Beauty. It is so juicy and so good. I highly recommend. More for like a balmy, like nourishing moment. Mm. Smells great too. Eyebrows are so important, you guys. Like it is literally, I you have to do eyebrows. Changes everything. Okay, I'm gonna use this Ultra Precise Brow Pencil from e.l.f. This is different than the one that I used in the PR try-on. This is more like an Anastasia Brow Wiz type of a vibe. something just a little bit darker. So I am gonna go into this Colorstay Brow Creator and this is in the shade Dark Brown. Fun fact, I sometimes focus so hard on my eyebrows that I get like anxious and like nauseous doing them. I have brow anxiety. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off the bake. Wet n Wild is a very, very impressive brand, I have to say, as far as some of their face products. Wow, I got powder in my hair. Uh, this powder is really very, very nice. It feels just like the Huda powder, like the Jeffree Star powder. Similar vibes to Cody, a little bit lighter, obviously not as fragrant. There doesn't seem to be any fragrance in here. I really like it. I'm gonna bronze up the perimeter of my face using the Bronze Please Number no. One Latera Bronzing Powder from L'Oreal. I'm gonna go ahead and take a powder bronzer brush from Milani. It's not going on as evenly as I would like. It has a lot of shimmer in it. It's subtle, but 
that can kind of make a little bit of a reflection that looks blotchy even if you're blended and nothing is blotchy, which is typically why I don't love shimmer and bronzing products unless I'm just like juicing up the skin everywhere and I'm not wearing a lot of makeup altogether. Wow, I thought I would really, really like this. Moving on, we're gonna go into this Catrice and Iman Live What You Love blush palette. I have spent time with Iman earlier in my YouTube career. We did like this little week long thing at YouTube Space LA. She's such a doll. I really, really enjoy her content and I uh, wanna congratulate her on this incredible collaboration. I'm gonna link her channel below. She's super talented and this was the item that stood out to me from the collaboration that she did, just because the tone of these blushes and then like that nice orange pop right there, I just think it's so, so pretty. So I'm actually gonna try to finish up my bronzer. See, this is like way more pigmented than what I was just using, but through the power of blending, we're gonna make this look fabulous. I'm gonna go back into a little blending and stamping action with my sponge. It has just enough leftover product on here to help me to move around and kind of manipulate the intensity of what I just put on my cheeks. All right, now I'm gonna go into the shade Alexandria and just grab a little bit on a smaller brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start lightly stamping more toward the center of my face. I feel like it gives you a more lifted, round, not overly sculpted, not overly serious kind of a look to the, to the skin face. <laughs> Gosh, do you guys ever just like jam two words together so quickly? Like I, my brain always functions that way. Okay, yeah, I am freaking in love with that blush. Ooh. I'm gonna take just a hit of Luxor and just kind of further pump it up. All right, moving into highlight. Now I have already dug my fingers in this. I'm sorry, I was trying to wait and I got too excited. This is from Rach Loves. This is her collaboration with Pixie. So, you know, I'm representing a couple of other creators that have collaborations with major brands. And this one you can find at Target. The Amon, I think you can pick up at Ulta, I'll find it online. I'll link what I can below. Um, but this one right here, I had to try because you guys, I love Pixie Highlight so much. I think it's one of the best available at the drugstore and I've included it in favorites of the year, try on videos. It's just such a nice formula. I'm actually gonna go in with the Milani All Over Blending Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Clutch and a little bit of Lace. And I'm just going to hit right in here. It's basically doing the work for me. And you can blend this down. Like if you want it like this, which I really like, I would probably just leave it like this but I wanna show you guys that you can always take a clean finger and just kind of use circular motions and spread what you have put on the skin out. I love that. So good. Okay, I'm gonna swatch these really quickly for you guys just so you can see everything that's going on. So first we have T, Clutch, then we have Knit, beautiful, beautiful bronze. That would make such an excellent eyeshadow. If you're too fair to use this as a highlight, just go ahead and use it as a brightener on the eyes. You can definitely get a lot of mileage out of a palette like this, no matter what your skin tone. Uh, then we have Lace, just depending on how you choose to use it. That's really, really pretty. I didn't contour my nose again. Who am I? Why do I keep doing this? All right, I don't have another contour powder up here. I'm gonna have to use the bronzer and let's just hope this goes okay. Do 
Dude, the skin is looking so nice. I'm really happy with it. I want to move on to the eyes. Now I'm going to dip into this guy right here, which is such a ginormo palette from NYX. You get a little bit of everything. And with NYX, it's always been kind of hit and miss as far as their formula goes. Sometimes I use an eyeshadow palette from them and I'm like, whoa, like this is incredible. And then other times it's like, stiff, chalky, crumbly, fallout, doesn't wear well, doesn't blend well. So it's really, there are some inconsistencies. I'm very curious to see what kind of a look I can do. Well, probably just neutral matte, but that's only because I'm wearing red nails and a red dress and I'm gonna wear a red lip. I don't wanna be like a blue eyeshadow and like red. I feel like for some reason, whenever I'm wearing red nail polish, I have to kind of tone down everything else or I just feel like so like aggressive like I just feel like too harsh and that's not the the zone that I want to live in so we're going to kind of try to keep it a little bit sweet I'm going to go into this camel toned matte shade right here and start out by just kind of fluffing it not even just in the crease but really all over the place I think I want to do a completely matte look and then do like a strong hit of highlight in the inner corner I'm gonna do my thing where we just kind of fast forward it. Let me know in the comments, do you like a longer video with me really talking my way through every single step? Or do you like it when I hit that fast forward button and we kind of get through it and I just share with you guys which shades I used? Let me know. Or if there's like a halfway, if you're like, I like it sped up, but maybe slow it down just a tiny bit and explain steps in between, I would love to hear your guys' feedback. So hit me up in the comment section or tweet me or message me on Instagram or leave a comment there or wherever. I love, love, love hearing your guys' feedback. It matters to me so much. Okay, I'm gonna put on some Lana Del Rey and finish my makeup who's loving her new album so much oh my gosh <laughs> so good Right, so remember I was going for a very easy, subtle, natural matte look. Got the matte part down. However, a lot of blending, a lot of Lana. I just kind of went with it and I'm filming this on a Friday night. So I'm like, date night. I am gonna try on the red lippy. If it looks balanced enough, I'll keep it. If not, we'll just swap it out for a nude. Normally, I don't like to play up eyes and lips at the same time. I have shared that with you guys over and over again. There are always exceptions to every rule as far as how you do it, but usually you want there to be some kind of balance in where you are pulling the eye to. And if you have too much going on all at once, it's kind of like, where do I look, where do I look? And the balance and the beauty kind of ends up being a little bit off center. So we'll try it just because I have two products here that match me, match my nails. I really wanted to 
test this new one out from Maybelline. This is the Superstay Ink Crayon. I do have a new mascara that I really wanted to try out. This is from LA Girl. It is the Volumatic Mascara, and it is extreme. Instantly volumizes and lengthens lashes. Literally, the eyes on here look crazy. Like the claims on mascara boxes, like dear lord. Sometimes you're like, really? We'll see about that. Ultra black, black brown. I'm actually gonna go for the black brown. I have been going for that more recently, especially on the lower lash line. It looks just a little bit better. Dude, this is like a solid makeup play day. I really thought that I would be in and out like 45 minutes of makeup. I am approaching an hour of literally just sitting here blending and swaying. It's like makeup meditation. I tried explaining this to someone. They're like, why is makeup so, so important to you? Like it feels great to feel beautiful, no question. But if I try to meditate, I turn off the lights, I sit in a dark room, I listen to music, maybe a fountain, probably not because that always makes me have to pee, but you get what I'm saying. You kind of like just zone out and you do the thing that you know you're maybe supposed to do because it's great for brain health and wellness and all of that. But for me, I just start thinking about like how much anxiety I have, things I have to do, what I'm gonna wear the next day. I just start like going like this when I'm meditating and I can't turn off. And there's been this incredible peace that doing my makeup has brought to my life. And that's why I'm so passionate about it. It's not even just the outcome in the makeup. It's the fact that I can turn on music and I can just paint and sway and be doing something to make any anxious feelings or overactivity in my brain just kind of come to a calm. And I realized that over the past decade, this has been such a healthy avenue for me to really transform my life. I wanna share with you guys, makeup is not frivolous. It is not stupid. It does not make you vain. It can be one of the most wonderful escapes if you allow it to do that for you, so. That's not bad. Like, I kind of thought this would be a bunch of BS, but this is not bad. This mascara is pretty great. Okay, let's move on to lips because I am kind of undecided if I want to put on lashes or just kind of leave it like this, I don't know. But I'm gonna go in with a Koki lip liner and this is in the shade True Red. What a fabulous lip liner. It's a little more pink than I would like, but that went on so nicely. Okay, this actually works in my opinion. I'm kind of like, um, yeah, I can hang with the bold lips, bold eyes. I think I'm just gonna leave it just as is without well, do I want to do lashes? Shoot. Actually, that does look super nice. Screw it, we're doing the full meal deal. I'm gonna put on some lashes and I will be right back. Dang, I really, really love this look. I cannot believe this is 100% drugstore makeup. So much of it was so good. I wanna do a quick rundown for you guys. The primer, I'm gonna to have to update you at a later date. The foundation went on so beautifully, easily, quickly. Of course, the sponge helped. I don't know how mad it is. I am gonna update you guys with how it wore and I will go and attack James and do like a hug test and let you guys know how transfer resistant it is as well. The concealer is a eh, it's a no. The lip is perfect, love it so, so much. The bronzer, no thank you. The powder, yes please, give it to me over and over and over. The blush is so great, as is the highlight. The NYX palette, it did take me a hot minute to blend, but you know, like I said, it was enjoyable to kind of space out, zone out, just blend the makeup, have fun with it. And you sure do get a ton of shades in here. So it's not a bad palette. It's not the best one I've ever tried. 
And the uh, inner corner highlight that I used that I'm really, really just blown away by, this is from Walgreens. This is the CYO Metallic Eye Stick. It is so nice. And you can really kind of blend this out and have a great shimmery kind of a thing here. Really love that. The mascara surprised me so much. These lashes are the Superdrug lashes. <laughs> I've never tried this before. It was sent to me. I really like it. They went on great. The band is very flexible and clear and does not feel heavy at all. You guys, I love this look. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you did, be sure to thumbs this video up. Leave me comments. Let me know your feedback, what you like, what you don't. Is it too much? Red, red, smoky? What do you think? I'd love to hear from you. All right, and if you have not subscribed, please do that as well. Ring the bell so you're notified of my upcoming videos. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm hoping to God I don't have red lipstick in my teeth. Whew. I made it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was at a Casey Musgraves concert. Last little story I'll leave you with, and I took pictures with so many subscribers, and I had lipstick in my teeth. If you are one of them, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I ruined your photo. I will make sure to do a better job next time, or just let me know if you see me in public and you're like, hey, Tati, what's up? Ugh, let me know. I think it was just dark in there, but anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy my weekend. I hope whatever you are up to, you guys are having a good one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.